them MMA scraps is why Most shows have out then cry We the ones like them Now at the end of the bout with a hands to the now, this last event, um, an interesting uh, kind of backstory, we're talking really a backstory, it's kind of a behind-the-scenes story we talked about last week on the show, was um, Eddie Bravo um, parting ways to the UFC because he wanted to be able to corner you. Now, I, I'm sure that you both would, uh, Eddie and yourself, would both kind of downplay the aspect of it being just for you, but it did come uh, during your fight, so it almost seems as though uh, Eddie really believed in you so much that he really wanted to be in your corner. Can you kind of tell us your thoughts on that situation when Eddie left? And we, we have since heard that he, he should be returning, but the fact that he would give up his job to, to corner you. Yeah, you know, like, um, honestly, like, you know, if, if it was just for me, and, and, I, and I, I'm part of, part of the um, reasoning behind it, you know, it's, um, I, 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 I'm very grateful for what he did, and, and um, I'm very, appreciate, very appreciative of what he did. So, you know, I know I was part of the reason. Um, but he also does have uh, a bunch of guys at his school that, that he's training as well. Um, and he wants to be able to corner those guys as well. But, you know, Eddie, Eddie loves what he does and, he, and, he, and he's very passionate about tr- teaching people and, and making things happen. And, 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 um, and he's taking the steps to be there to the people he's training. But, um, you know, I mean, he, he gave up, he basically. You know, he's been he's been there for me for the last couple of years, and he's you know he's going out of his way for me, and he's helping me, um, he's helping teach me and making me a better fighter, and, and I'm very grateful for it. There's a lot of respect there. Uh, he he definitely uh, sees something in you, and I'll tell you, after watching the last couple of fights, it's it's hard not to agree with him. Um, one of the things that came up in your fight, um, I guess Joe Stevenson was uh, the shorts and the leggings and stuff that you wore. Um, uh, Shinya Aoki uses the long pants normally in his fights. Of course, his last fight he did not wear. But there was a lot of uh, attention given uh, to those uh, kind of leggings that you wore. Can you kind of talk about those and the fact that you did not wear anything like that this time around? Was that because of the, the criticism, or, or what was the deal there? Um, yeah, the criticism was, you know, I, 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 I mean, look, I still wore the, I still wore the, the same apparel in that last mm-hmm. fight, but not, not, not as much of it. I just, you know, I wore the tights underneath my shorts, and I wore, I wore the knee sleeve and the, um, and the ankle arm support. The, the ankle sleeve and the knee sleeve, but look, it's it's what I'm wearing is well within the in the in the rules of the sport, and I'm not the only fighter out there wearing those things. You know, other, you know, a lot of kickboxers or guys who who who, who strike with their feet, use those ankle supports or tape their ankles up, and a lot of wrestlers or you know grapplers are using knee knee braces or not braces but knee sleeves or knee, or you know or pads for their takedowns. You know, and I can just point. Point to guys like BJ Penn, uh, Randy Couture, Tim Sylvia, uh, Mark Coleman, just to name a few guys who are, who are wearing the same things, and nobody's criticised them. But um, you know, I, I had worn the same I had worn the same gear prior to fighting Joe, Joe, Steve, uh, Joe Stevenson, and nobody said a thing. Now because I beat Joe Stevenson, all of a sudden there's some controversy. Surrounding that fight because of you know the apparel I, I I wore, and you know that apparel didn't make me punch faster or harder or or box better. It didn't make me have better takedowns. You know that all of a sudden there's controversy because I beat this guy and I wasn't supposed to win. You know because he he thought he was going to come in there and, and walk through me and you know so did his so did the people around him. He was a favorite, but you know. It's just, it's just so then, so I guess the question, George, and I guess the question is, is why do you wear it? I mean, I personally, I don't, I don't see the problem, but uh, you know, people are asking the question. So, you know, why, why does that particular apparel something that that you uh, you feel good about wearing? Well, that's, that's what I train in it, and um, and it's what I wear for, for training, and I just wear it for my fights. You know, it's part, okay. it's part of, it's part, of, it's part of my equipment, so I, I wear it. Today, 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 today